Uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley is no longer going free to play when it leaves early access. The game's first paid expansion pass has also been announced. Uh, Gameloft has announced that Disney Dreamlight Valley will leave early access on December 5th, but that it will no longer be going free to play when it does. So what about all those people that have been already playing it for free to play? As we look ahead to the official launch with the learnings we've gained from early access, we've made the decision to remain a paid game for the foreseeable future. Yeah, okay, so this is the same exact thing. This is the same exact thing that they're doing with uh, the... So Dreamlight Valley and the uh, Speedstorm are the same exact thing. Disney does this with their games now. What they do is they go, oh yeah, it's a free-to-play game, but they leave it in early access for years. They leave it in early access for years. They try to label it as a free, they label it as a free-to-play game, even though it's not. You have to pay just as much as you would for any other game to get in there and play it as a uh, like a founder. Yeah, it's like oh, if you want to play in early access, then you need to buy a founder's pack. Yeah, I've called Disney out for this crap for a long time now, and um, so it's like they're not really free to play. They just tell you that the game's going to be free to play when it full releases. But they don't even really tell you when the game's going to full release. So they go, it's early access. And if you want to play early access, we well, yeah, gotta buy a Founders Pack. So really, you're just paying to play the game like you would any other game in the gaming industry. But they found a way to try and call it free to play. It's scummy, dude. Um... Quote, this choice ensures that Disney Dreamlight Valley will be able to continue delivering on a premium game experience for all players, Gameloft said today. It's important to us that we maintain our promise to keep delivering free content, updates that add new characters, realms, clothing, furniture, and more surprises to your valley. Purchases requiring Moonstones will remain optional, fair, and match the level of quality players have come to expect. Players will still be able to collect free Moonstones via Dream Snaps and Chests or optionally choose to purchase them. When it leaves early access, several editions of Dreamlight Valley will be available, which are detailed to in the image below, they will range in price from forty dollars US to the core uh, for the core game to seventy dollars US for the gold edition, which will include the game's first newly announced expansion pass titled A Rift in Time. The expansion pass will also be available separately for thirty more dollars US. There's a, ri a live stream happening on November first at one PM Eastern. That would be noon our time. Uh, I won't be watching that. Sorry. Um, during the live stream, they're going to show off the expansion pass and all that stuff. Uh, sorry, Disney's gross, dude. Look, uh, let me, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, uh, is this, no, 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 no. I think it's on Epic now though. I think Pelia is on Epic. Uh, here free game if if you think disney dreamlight valley looks okay or whatever try out palea okay try this out it's a very chill very cool like just like sim kind of game you know what i mean it's like it's, you got you like your character you, you make your character you go it's a multiplayer massive multiplayer kind of environment where you're just like running around, you're like gathering materials, resource gathering, and you're like building your own like kind of little homestead and everything. And you got a village here that you interact with a lot of NPCs and uh, you've got little quests you go on and stuff like that. So uh, it's free to play. Check that out. I've played a little bit of it with my daughter. My daughter loved it. Our uh, friend here in the community, um, True, has been playing it and had been loving it. So uh, give it a shot. Rather than pay for Disney Dreamlight Valley bullcrap, how about try out a uh, a developer that is making a pretty cool game here for free? The only thing that they monetize is like uh, basically just uh, like cosmetics and stuff. That's it. There's no like pay to win in this or anything like that. And it's it's pretty solid. It's pretty cool. It's very chill, very cozy, very neat. Uh, check that out if you want. That's what I would recommend. Disney can get wrecked.